guys, this is Kim again. Um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, mine is a little, it's a little distracting, <laughs> I'll say that. Um, have a few things going on um, in the relationship. Not really sure things are going to work out the way that I would, would was hoping that it would have. But um, I'll tell you about that um, another day. I really want to thank everybody who subscribed to my channel yesterday. Um, you have no idea um, what that means to me. Um, and you know, I'm actually doing this video on Friday, so today is Saturday, and I mean on Thursday. People that subscribed on Thursday. And um, you have no idea how, how inspired I am by, you know, you guys just going on and, uh, you know, subscribing because you really didn't have to do that. I appreciate you so much. Um, I just want to let you guys know I'm really not, over the years I haven't been a really, I haven't been a very open person and I don't know if it's my age or things that I've been through, but I feel so open today. I feel um, less inhibited and I wanted to tell you guys there was something that happened in my life. Um, this was around 2004. I was always this person that was in control. Um, I always, I mean, I was, <clears throat> excuse me, I was somebody that, um, you know, it was about, you know, getting as much education as I could. It was about um, having the best job, doing well, making lots of money, all those kinds of things. And I had with the employer that I had in 2004, actually 2003, um, they transferred me from Michigan to Maryland. And they actually closed the office a year after I got there. So, um, I had that to contend with because I had to find another position. And my son at the time was in college. He was actually getting ready to leave college and I wasn't around my family, so I was in Maryland by myself. And <clears throat> at that time when the job, um, you know, disappeared, I found another position and I worked that position for two years. Um, things were okay. I was still being this person that was, you know, always in control, trying to achieve all that I could, being the best at my job, that kind of thing. And, um, you know, I left that position and I went into the mortgage industry. The mortgage industry, when I first got into it, to the, when I first became a loan officer, I mean, things were great. This was around 2006, 2007, and that was, act, was actually when the, the um, boom was getting ready to happen. Things were kind of getting ready to go downhill. But that first year when I started working in the mortgage industry, I made, oh, I made, more money than I've ever made in my life. And I was still this person trying to have the best vehicle, um, living in a nice place, all these things that I wanted to achieve in my life. And I was still trying to be this person that really on the inside, I wasn't. So that job ended. My son was no longer around, so I didn't have that to deal with as well. I wasn't this person that was trying to make things happen for us. And my family wasn't around, so I didn't have them to lean on either. So at this time when that particular thing happened, I just totally, and I, I've never, there, there, not a lot of people in my life know that this happened to me. Um, I'm in Maryland by myself, and I had a complete breakdown. I mean, having to go to the hospital and everything. I mean, I melted down so I didn't even recognize the person that I was. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I, um, I lost, the, the job wasn't there. I lost my vehicle. 
Um, if I wasn't with the person that I'm currently with now, I probably would have lost the place that I lived in as well. And at that moment, I was still struggling trying to be the person that everybody thought I was. Um, that's part of the reason why I stayed away from my family for so long because um, I wasn't the person that they knew of me as being. And I will tell you, it's two, that was 2006, 2007. It's 2016. And I will tell you, I am just really becoming the person that I'm supposed to be after struggling for struggling for um, 10 years trying to figure out where I'm supposed to be in the world. And it has taken me this long to really kind of just destroy that other person that was in my head because that really wasn't the person that I was supposed to be. I wasn't this person that was about material things. I wasn't this person that was all I wanted to do is achieve my education. And, you know, I was doing things that I thought I was supposed to do. And I was doing things that um, I thought people were going to be proud of me for. And I wasn't really doing a lot of things because I wanted to do them. And now today, I have been totally, I was totally stripped down. I mean, everything was taken away from me materially. And I had to really get to the place where I love the person that I am. And these are the things that I'm trying to teach other people because I've been through it. Um, I was somebody that really didn't like who I was. I was trying to prove that I was good enough all the time and it just it led to a breakdown a nervous breakdown and I will tell you that's the reason why I'm saying what I'm saying to you guys all the time you have to be happy with the person that you are because what's going to happen you're going to break at some time at some moment in your life because if you're not doing what you want to do for yourself and you're doing it for other people and to show this person and to prove something to that person, it's never going to work. It's never going to work. And I'm just saying to you guys, love yourself. Get to what you're really supposed to do in your life and get busy pursuing it, get busy um, going after it, get busy doing it. So that, and, and that's the only way that you're gonna be happy. And I will tell you today, I still don't have a lot of material things, but I'm the happiest that I've ever been, I will say, in my life because I'm doing what I wanna do. And, um, you know, I have people around me that some don't understand it, but being happy in life is the key. It is the key to living a successful life. And success doesn't have to do with money and having all, all kinds of material things. It, it means getting through life successfully, um, loving yourself, being happy, those kinds of things. So um, today I just want you guys to just take my words and, you know, use them, um, you know, apply them to your lives and, you know, take my life, my story as a cautionary tale. I, I you know, I will tell you, um, I, I'm today I feel like I'm the best that I've ever been. And in the way that I feel about who I am. And 
that's where you need to be and it doesn't have anything to do with proving to anybody else that you're somebody. You have to know that within yourself. So those are my words for you today, guys. Um, thank you again for the, the, the people that su subscribe to my channel. Um, I love you so much. And again, have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you guys on the other side. Thank you so much. Bye.